Hello and welcome to the Safi Learning Center. This short tutorial will show you several 3D bridge models using the grillage method. Several bridges are too complex to be analyzed in two dimensions using a lateral distribution coefficient based on simplified bridge equation codes. In these situations, we must make a 3D model using either the finite elements or using what we have done in this model, the grillage method. At first glance, one can see the skewed slab in plan view. However, to be able to see the modeling of the model, we will mask the solid modeling. The basic technique of the grillage method is to create longitudinal elements with similar stiffness to the longitudinal members of the bridge and to create transverse members modeling the stiffness of the slab in this direction. For more information on how to calculate the section properties, you can use the bridge codes or other references specifically and address the grillage method. In an example like this, we can visualize that it is necessary to perform several truck trajectories on the bridge. The user must determine all the critical positions for trajectories according to the lane loads on the deck. For example, for a bridge with multiple lanes, it will also be required to create load combinations where several trajectories will be active simultaneously. We will now go ahead and run the analysis. In this example, three different trajectories were analyzed for three different trucks. Bridges results will be available here. The grillage method, it gives us the forces in the longitudinal and transverse elements. In this case, the bending moments are displayed. It may be noted that the interpretation of the results are more complex than in two-dimensional models. Specifically, you can ease the visualization of the results by selecting elements on the bridge. Then, by activating the view hide command to mask a part of the structure. This makes it possible to focus on a particular segment of the bridge. At this time, the results look a little more to an analysis in two dimensions to determine the forces and strengths on each of the slices of the bridge. I'll quickly introduce you to some other bridge models using the grillage method. we can see that this model still uses longitudinal and transverse bands of elements. The models thus vary according to the complexity of the bridge. Again, you can see the bridge using the grillage method. The geometry of the bridge, which is curved, is somewhat more complex. However, the same principles still apply, that is to say, the longitudinal and transverse elements are created so as to be orthogonal according to the principles of the grillage method. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit our website at www.safi.com.